Next news, India bans Mother Teresa charity from receiving foreign funds. On December 25th, the Indian government banned all foreign funding towards the Missionaries of Charity, or MOC, founded by Mother Teresa in 1950. Ministry, the Ministry of Home Affairs stated in a press conference that the charity's application for receiving international funds was denied due, due to, quote, some adverse inputs. It is never, it thus far has not been clarified what these adverse inputs are. Drugratz, uh, Vadodara City Police launched an investigation into the charity earlier this month due to allegations of forced conversions of the girls living in the charity's shelter. It is speculated that the denial of re receiving further funding is related to these allegations. With the rise of anti-Christian attitudes and violence in India, a Christian charity being, re being blocked from receiving funding would not be a major shock, but certainly a cause for concern. So we have no idea what those adverse inputs are? No. It, thus far, it has not been clarified at all. And this, so you're like, oh, I support this just because you don't like Mother Teresa. But we have to, yeah. in this case, I think <laughs> yes, we yes. have to be very skeptical about this because in the past few years, India has had a history of going after NGOs and taking them out at their yeah. knees by cutting off their foreign funding. They did this to Amnesty International last year yeah, right, right amnesty international yeah, had to shutter all that and their um investigations all their operations in india because they were accused of doing something shady with their international funding and likely because they were <laughs> investigating human rights abuses by the modi government and particularly the delhi riots and how the police cooperated in them is that true? 6,000 NGOs did not get their foreign CRA license renewed? Okay. I don't know how true that is. Um, I don't know about 6,000, okay, yeah. but it's been a lot. A lot. Yeah, so, okay, so, yeah, I, I'm very biased because I don't like Mother Teresa, and I don't like Mother Teresa's institution charity as well, right? So I don't, but we have to be careful, not just because we don't like something, we can all of a sudden endorse something unjust, you know? Um, but especially given that this is the, the India we're talking about, right? So, I'll, like, you, I, I think we would be biased to mean, you know, I would be biased to think, like, oh, it's Mother Teresa's charity. Of course, they did something wrong, right? But also, we're talking about India's government. <laughs> of course, they're going to try to, like, they're just not, they don't not, they're not going to do the proper uh, due process. They're just going to find anything that they don't like without any good justification. They're going to go shut shut it down so yeah so i don't trust either party <laughs> i don't trust the indian government and i don't trust mother Teresa's char charity so we don't know we don't know what happened and we don't know what these adverse inputs mean so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna claim ignorance i don't know like given that all these other ngos were also shut down it's very likely that this was unjust but also it's very like it could be it's likely that it's also just given that it's mother Teresa's charity <laughs> so i guess i don't know well, that's um, different though so saying right. we don't does mother Teresa's charity have a history of financial wrongdoing that i'm not aware of i'm aware of yeah. mistreatment yeah. in their programming you know and like what they okay. do I don't yeah i rem i can i don't remember i thought we did a story on mother Teresa's charity I mean, Mother, Mother Teresa Charities doesn't, like, doesn't have, yeah. Yeah, we have to be careful not to, sup, uh, not to support, just because we don't like an institution, we can't support r the wrong way about going, you know, attacking them, right? Like, this is, so, yeah, we have to be fair when it comes to, yeah, you're right, sure. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, but I'm just going to claim ignorance. There's a, there's still a chance. There's still a chance that they did something wrong. But go on. Shubo's comment. You know when dude extremists are awful when you can't feel good about crapping on a Mother Teresa charity. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, this my why can't why do you take this away from us? <laughs> Look what you make us do. You're making us defend a Mother Teresa charity. Look, oh my God, I feel I feel like I need to go shower. <laughs> this is like seriously yeah. but but
But okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Seriously, fuck Mother Teresa. Like, like I know this is gonna hurt your. I was trying not to swear in this segment. Um. So, okay, but it's Mother Teresa. We have to swear. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Go on. Mustafa is saying the press release was extremely vague overall. Yeah, yeah, I read it. It was just like um, complete lack of transparency. I, I I believe that the charity is going to try to appeal this or their lawyers are involved. But um, there was a spokesperson. It was either a spokesperson or someone talking about someone who works with Christian organizations in India in general. And they were saying that the fact that this happened in the lead up no, on on Christmas, on Christmas, they're like, this can't, like, this can't be coincidental. Like, you, this is just everything about the flavor and what's particularly surrounding the missionaries charity right now. People are crying foul. Right. Is she a saint now? Saint Teresa? Okay. Um, She is on the pathway to beatification. Okay, so she's not a saint yet. No, but she actually it's very. I think the, it's, the honorific she gets very, is blessed. I think it's very fitting if she is like a saint, given how many other saints were involved in torture and burning of heretics and other stuff. Like she's like yeah, it's actually. I think being a saint is a swear word. Like Mother Teresa was involved in torturing poor people for the sake of their pain. She was in love with pain. Anyways, um, let's highlight some comments and then move on. This one. Uh, yeah, Rudresh is saying amnesty and many NGOs, um, non-government organizations, are considered Western imperial orgs. I think Russia, China, and Belarus have also banned them, meaning banned Amnesty International. Um, so good job, India. Yeah, did you, you get to yeah, look yeah, at no. the company you keep. <laughs> yeah, Belarus, China, and Russia. Yeah, what does that say about you, India, when you're like this against NGOs? Uh, along with these other countries. All right, last comment we highlight, and then we have to move on. Katie is saying, it's BJP's India. There is no transparency here. And for some reason, there aren't many protests asking for government transparency. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. 